Okay, this is a short message for cancer. It says romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Um, along with the emperor in reverse, which is a controlling and passionate, uh, possessive inner type of energy. Um, we also have the eight of swords reverse, which is good. Um, the nine of swords in reverse. So you're coming out of depression and anxiety. But towards the middle of this reading, um, with the ten of cups in reverse and then page of cups... Um, this is more or less messages going back and forth that are filled with emotion, but you uh, want so much control over a situation that you are screwing yourself out of it. And I feel that heavily because cancers, if they don't get what they need out of a situation, they kind of go into their shell. And if they feel like they can't really do anything about it or change the situation, they'll close off completely. Uh, but this says at the top that it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So you're wanting to give this offer. You're wanting to put emotion in. But whatever situation you're in right now, the passion is gone because of a betrayal. Um, I don't know if it's you that betrayed someone or somebody betrayed you. Um, but regardless, this, uh, top, top, yeah, top right energy is, uh, four swords, which is healing. That's, um, getting your mind right, getting your thoughts together. This is like, okay, the passion is leaving because I feel like I've been betrayed to an extent or stabbed in the back. Yeah, I want to put my emotions into this situation, but am I going to be fucking hurt again? Am I going to be able to control how this goes so that I don't fucking get hurt at the same time? And that's that going into your shell because that's your safe place. With this Eight of Swords and Nine of Swords here together... That's, um, I have to have this controlling energy about, uh, about me. That way I have enough control in order to stay out of my head. That way I can sleep at night without wondering who the fuck is going to hurt me. All this kind of good shit. But your feelings are real and worth exploring. You might feel as if there's no happy home, no happiness here at all. Yeah, there, you have emotion for someone, but you feel as if the passion is fucking fading in this relationship. And you don't really know why, uh, or you do know why, and you feel like you've been betrayed, so you're healing from that. There's a lot of swords here, so you're in your head quite a bit, whether it be good or bad. I kind of feel like it's good at the same time, though. Because you're more or less not willing to put your passions out unless you feel as if you absolutely have to. Because, yeah, you've been hurt so many times, but at the same time, is it really a good thing or a bad thing? Because, yeah, you're focused on getting your priorities straight. What you need to do, what's the next step, how do you need to go through the day-to-day... But you're not leaving this time uh, time or room for emotion. And you could be dealing, definitely dealing with an air sign or a water sign. Or an Aries. Or you have that in their chart. But yeah, it's one of those things where you're healing from what's going on. You're not quite ready to move forward with anything else. Yeah, there's... There's emotional messages. Like, this person brings out your emotion. But they also bring back the feeling of betrayal. Those insecurities, uh, all this kind of junk. There might have been a separation, divorce, whatever. Ten of Cups is fully a happy wife, happy life. That's moving forward with a relationship and marriage. And there's two tens here, so there's a definite ending but it's all because you want control. Like, I don't want to be hurt anymore. I don't want to be put in this position where I'm stuck in my head wondering what the fuck you're doing. I just need to get myself together. You know what I mean? 
And you might say that, uh, say as much, but at the same time, you're not really saying anything at all because you feel as if, if you message this person, it would be out of anger. Like, there'd be that possessive, controlling energy, and you don't want that to take over if you go to message this person. So you're kind of pulling back at the same time. Uh, whatever messages you send them, it's out of a, a straight emotion, but you're keeping yourself hidden. Like, the pain, the fear, all this kind of junk. You're keeping the bad shit hidden because you don't want to do something out of spite to fuck shit up. Or, um, this is what someone's doing to you, possibly because they, um... If this is someone else that you're dealing with, they know that you're messaging uh, someone else because there's the Knave of Cups and then there's the Knave of Wands, which are the pages, which are messages. But they either know that you've been messaging someone else emotionally or passionately, so they're pulling back their energy completely. And they're healing from a situation. You, and this could be that controlling energy that you're dealing with. It doesn't necessarily have to be you. It could be someone else as well. Maybe there was somebody else involved in this situation. And maybe they feel betrayed or vice versa. So the energies are just the passions falling away. Alright guys. You guys have a good day.